Okay guys, welcome to this year 8 multiply and divide fractions from the White Rose Maths okay, worksheet. Okay, yeah, it's worksheet A. Okay, so this is aimed at predominantly for key stage 3 students. Yeah, so students in year 8, but it's also appropriate and applicable for year 7, year 6, year 9, year 10, and even year 11 students. Okay, yeah, so students doing GCC foundation tier and higher tier as well. Okay, it's part of the revision. We're going to start with question number one. Match each representation to the correct calculation. So here I've got two holes. So two holes is the same as four times a half because four times a half becomes four halves and four halves simplifies to the number two. Okay, so this simplifies to the number two. This next one, I've got a half there. Now a half is same as saying two quarters. Okay, think of it as I've got four quarters there, so two quarters. A quarter times two is equal to two quarters. I do one times two, which is two, and I keep my denominator fixed. Okay, so the answer will be equal to two quarters, okay, which is the same as saying one half. Okay, this is the next question, or next part, I should say. So I've got two out of 16 there so 2 sixteenths simplifies to 1 eighth okay 1 quarter times a half is equal to 1 eighth okay 1 times 1 is equal to 1 and 4 times 2 is equal to 8 so the answer is 1 eighth or 1 eighth okay Question number two, complete the calculations. Two times one third, so two multiplied by one third, that will give me the answer of two thirds, okay? I multiply the whole number by the numerator and I keep the denominator fixed, okay? So that's the key part there. Two sevenths times four, well I do two times four, which is eight, and I keep my denominator fixed as seven. So the answer is eight sevenths, which I can write it as a mixed number, okay? is equal to one and one seventh, guys. Okay, so whenever we multiply a fraction with an integer, we multiply the integer by the numerator and we keep the denominator fixed, guys. This next one, I do four times 10, which is gonna be 40, okay, and then five times 11, is gonna be 55. Okay, I can simplify this by dividing top and bottom by five, Okay, so I get the answer of 8 elevenths. Okay, there. Okay, question number three, C complete the calculations. So I'm dividing fractions now. So dividing by three is same as multiplying by a third. So you keep the first fraction. Okay, you flip the second fraction. So three goes to one third or one over three. And then we change the division to multiplication. Okay. 3 times 1 is going to be 3, and then 3 times 5 is going to be 15. So I get 3 fifteenths, which simplifies to 1 fifth, guys. Okay, sorry about that. So we get 3 fifteenths, which simplifies to 1 fifth. Okay, it's the KFC method that we use, guys. The keep, flip, change. Okay, or KCF, keep, change, flip. Okay, either way would suffice. Okay, this next one, four ninths divided by a ninth. So again, keep the first fraction. You flip the second one. So you take the reciprocal of the second fraction. So it goes to nine over one. So you flip it upside down or you turn it upside down and we change the division to a multiplication. Okay, working this out, I get 36 ninths. Okay, which simplifies to the number four, guys. Okay, this next one, eight thirds divided by two thirds. Okay, I keep the first fraction the same, so KFC or KCF. So keep, flip, change. Okay, the two thirds goes to three halves, so you flip that and we change the division to a multiplication, guys. Okay, working this out, I get 24 sixth or 24 sixths, which simplifies to the whole number four. Okay, so that gives you four as well. 
K. Question number four. Jamil is working out a half of six elevenths. K. Okay? So of means multiply. Okay, for each pair of sentences, take the one that is true. Part A, the answer is same as half times six times, so that is true. Okay, this one's not true, okay, because times it by two is not the same as multiplying by half, so that's actually incorrect. Okay, this next one, part B, the answer will be bigger than six elevenths. Well, that's not actually true. If you times by a half, the answer will actually get smaller. So this one's going to be true and this one's going to be false. Okay. This next one, the answer is same as six elevenths divided by two. Okay, that's true, yes, because times by a half is same as divided by two. Okay, you're multiplying by the reciprocal of two, which is equal to a half. Okay, that, that one's not true, guys. This is question number five. Complete the statement using greater than, less than, or equals to. Okay, three sevenths plus three sevenths, that gives you six sevenths. Three lots of two sevenths, that also gives you six sevenths. So they're actually both equal to each other. Okay, so they're both equal. This next one, four lots of three fifths, well, that gives you 12 fifths. That's actually bigger than 12 twentieths, okay, because 12 fifths is a top heavy fraction or an improper fraction. So the sign, okay, goes like that, okay, the crocodile's mouth eats the bigger number. This next one, okay, working this out, I'm going to get 12 over 21. And this next one, I'm going to get 18 fourteenths. Okay. So crocodile's mouth eats the bigger number. Okay. 18 fourteenths is bigger than 12 twenty ones. Okay. Because that's actually, yeah, a top heavy fraction here. Yeah, and, and I can simplify that by the way, top and bottom by two. So I get nine sevenths which is a top heavy fraction or an improper fraction, we say, okay, in secondary school maths, we say improper fraction. The next one, match the equivalent um, calculations. Okay, so dividing by three times times by a third. Okay, so that's going to go to there. Okay, so here yeah, I'm going to be careful. Okay, so that, okay, so you times it by four thirds there. Ah, no, here we go. So, yeah, so a little trick, guys, yeah. So, three-tenths as a decimal is 0 0.3, and three-quarters as a decimal is equal to 0 0.75. That means this last one is going to be this one, which is true, okay, because you're dividing by 0 0.3, which is the same as saying three-tenths. Dividing by three-tenths is the same as multiplying by ten-thirds, okay? Question number seven, so it has this little H here for higher tier students. Okay, work out the area of the rectangle, give your answer as a mixed number and it, in, in its simplest form. Okay, so the area of a rectangle is length times width. So it's going to be five and two thirds multiplied by two and three quarters. Okay, so I'm multiplying mixed numbers now. So slightly more challenging, guys. So this is something that will actually appear on like a GCSC -er, higher tier paper, this sort of question, okay, and also foundation as well, okay, but more so higher tier. So writing each fraction as an improper fraction or a top heavy fraction, 3 times 5 is going to be 15 plus the 2 is going to be 17, so I get 17 thirds, okay, multiplied by... Now, two and three quarters as a top-heavy fraction, or an improper fraction, I should say. Four times two is going to be eight, plus the three is going to be 11, so I get 11 quarters. Okay, working this out, so taking our time. So, on the bottom, three times four is going to be 12, and on the top, okay, 100, sorry, 17 times 10 is 170. If I add 17 to that, and I get 187. Okay. So 12's into that. Okay, let's just do our short division.
12s into 1, I cannot do. 12s into 18 go once with a 6 remainder. 12s into 6, 7 go 5 times with a remainder of 7. So the answer is 15 whole and 7 twelfths, okay, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so that's going to be my final answer. Okay, 15 holes and 7 twelfths. Seven out of twelve. Okay, and that's how we multiply mixed numbers. So we always change them into improper fractions first, and then do top by top and bottom by bottom. Okay, multiply together. Okay, yeah. so times the numerators together and times the denominators together. Okay, so multiply the numerator by the numerator and denominator by denominator. Okay, for multiplying fractions, for dividing fractions, remember KFC method: keep, flip, change. You keep the first fraction, you flip the second, and then you change it to a, to a times. Okay. That's the end of today's video, guys. So thank you so much for watching.